ready? Set. Go! <laughs> Hello from the Orlando airport in Central Florida. In case we haven't met yet, I'm Renata, this is Gordon, and we live here. I'm originally from Brazil, and in this video you're coming with us to see what a trip to the interior of the fifth largest country in the world can look like if you want to save some money. 440 AIs, less than a dollar. In total we spent $185, flights, trains, subway and buses on a return trip for two. Hello from New York. Yes, we're going to Brazil and we left Florida and we're all the way up here. <laughs> this is the stop where we're. we're flying with Air Miles and we got this amazing deal for 35,000 Air Miles all the way to Brazil, return trip. You're lucky if you find the same thing for 50,000. So can't complain, absolutely fantastic. What I can complain at least a little bit was the experience flying into here. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Delta, one of my favorite airline companies. I fly Delta so much that I reached platinum in their awards program. That's why I get to enjoy their lounges like this. But this time coming here, the boarding process of the flight here was not very smooth. <laughs> I have a regular size to carry on, even small compared to some people's carry-ons here. And the gate agent looked at my carry-on that was fully expanded, said you have to close that expansion. So, okay, no problem, I'll just move over there so that everybody can pass. No, you're not going anywhere with your bag like this. And she was mad, you know. I got so surprised, got nervous, everybody looking in front of me. I just started pushing the thing to close and I jammed my entire zipper. Now I cannot open my bag. I just got upset because everybody was passing with their bags fully open, you know, fully expanded. And some carry-ons were much bigger than mine. And she was only picky like this with me. I don't know why. Anyways, when my zipper jammed, I was able to board a plane. To go to Brazil, you need a negative COVID test and it can be the antigen. What's the advantage? Uh, it's cheaper. You get the results right away. Mm -hmm. And nothing up your nose. Not as invasive as the PCR. Yeah. Do you miss Brazil already? Yeah, maybe, uh, sometimes. Ah, come on! <laughs> He's the one telling me all the time we need to go back to Brazil. Now we're trying. Finally got to open my bag. Thank you. No problem this time. Some people watch movies. Gordon plays games. The whole fight. Oh, look at that. Next level. Good evening, everyone. It's great to have you on board with us. Paulo is the largest city in the Southern Hemisphere. It's the financial center of South America. It goes without saying that it's Brazil's biggest and richest city. 
but I'll show you this fascinating metropolis another day because today we still have a long journey ahead. There's a free shuttle here between terminals outside and this will take you to where we want. Where are we going? Something new for you? Catch a train to go into the city. Unfortunately, the shuttle here is not all the time. It's like every 15 minutes. And the train only departs once an hour. We may lose the 10 o'clock train. Ah. We arrived here. Needed to come here for the train. The flight was just the beginning of our trip here to Brazil because we're actually going to visit my family. And they live in the interior of Sao Paulo. It's a city called Ribeirão Preto. Could have fly there as well, but uh, we're gonna do this last leg of the trip by train and then by bus. Of course, it's much cheaper this way. The train we're waiting for is this Airport Express here. It's a new line in Sao Paulo, but it only departs on top of the hour. Glad I had some reais. It's the currency here in Brazil to pay for this ticket because they only take cash. Hmm, that's nice. Nice and comfortable train with air conditioning. 440 reais, less than a dollar. It's great. That's crazy. I'd still charge 20 hours. No, it's really great, yeah. Fantastic deal, because it's really expensive to go to Sao Paulo from this airport. Yeah. Oh, we go from here. Follow. <laughs> oh, oh, no. It now goes to Lutz. It goes, yeah. The map is outdated. <laughs> All the way to Lutz. Over here, look over here, Hinata. Updated map. From here we can get the metro until the bus stop or we can get an Uber. What do we do? It's a short distance. From here? Uber. Yeah, I think it's more Too convenient. many bags. Too many bags, yeah. No Uber needed. Take the subway. TTH. Tiete, yeah. <laughs> it is so easy. It's all connected. Real change of plans because it is so easy. It's easy like London. Easy like Nova York. Easy like Singapore. Here we are. Cheers! Saúde! Wow, if you're ever in a situation that you need to go from the Guarulhos Airport in São Paulo to the bus stop, Tietê, this is the best thing that we did because it was so easy. Once you get in the train, everything is interconnected. The train with the metro and you don't even need to pay for a separate ticket. How much did it cost? Uh, the tr it was 440 reais. That was it. How much in dollars? In dollars? Less than a dollar. Less than a dollar. <laughs> Oh, you miss Brazilian food, don't you? <laughs> Pão de queijo. And me here, I miss this appetizer so much. This is called coxinha. It's a snack with uh, chicken inside. Sometimes there's cheese as well. I think this one is just chicken. For me, nothing like Brazilian food, especially after spending so much time abroad. Major bus companies have lounges at the terminal, like this one, and they're open to everyone taking their buses. No need for loyalty programs. There's no free food over here, but it's a more comfortable place for you to wait, to board. There's free Wi-Fi and air conditioning. Nice and comfortable bus. We're at the top level where you have these executive seats. This is the executive bus. And at the lower level, flat beds. How spacious is this seat here compared to the airplane? A little bit more. A little bit? Come on, look at this. <laughs> it's like night and day. And look at how much the seat reclines. We just passed Campinas. 
here. Campinas is another major city here in Sao Paulo. And now we keep moving towards the uh, interior of the country. All this is the state of Sao Paulo. The city is here and we're going towards the west. It's like northwest. Ribeirão Preto is in the northwest of Sao Paulo. In total, it's less than four hours if there's no traffic, as long as you drive through the main route here, which is full of tolls <laughs> and cameras. Look at this. So here you can have a better view of our bus. We're at the top part, and then the bottom, they have flat beds. The door is closed there. Unfortunately, I could not show you. We traveled before and it is comfortable, although the engine is in the back, so it can be a little noisy sometimes. Quick stop along the way here, and I got a chocolate cake. <laughs> door to door, it took us in total 32 hours to go from Orlando to Ribeirão Preto. But had we flied within Brazil, we'd only have saved an hour due to the long wait for connecting flights. So it was worth it. And here we are, all the bags made it, and Gordon too. <laughs> Ribeirão Preto is one of the most important cities in the interior of the state of Sao Paulo. But again, I'll show you in a future trip as this time we're here to visit family. We got here right in time for Carnival, Mardi Gras, the biggest celebration in Brazil. Tender. It is very tender. The official barbecue person of the family. Can you come to my YouTube? Okay, I got something to say. <laughs> the Delta lady was actually right. You know, with the expansion like this, the bag becomes two inches larger than what's allowed for a carry-on. So she was right. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but um, if it is the rule, it should be for everyone, right? Should be careful, Gordon, next time. Yours is larger too.